Uh, part of my <clears throat> future plans for this channel or things I'll be doing from now on will be looking at articles if I can find them and you know uh, that are misandric or directed towards men or basically uh, you know you get the gist and uh, having uh, examining them and uh, analyzing and looking at them and uh, another thing I'd like to do which I'm starting to do here is uh, you know I don't have a whole lot of skills but one of my skills is language and I am a translator so when I find uh, primarily in French and German those are my languages articles uh, written in those languages that I think are noteworthy uh, and I don't by noteworthy I don't mean um, particularly good but worthy of commenting on as uh, savage examples of misandry I will take the time to translate them and I've done that with this particular uh, piece of German trash uh, and I'm gonna read this out first and uh, and go through it step by step um, so bear with me here this is my translation by the way and for those of you or a few women who actually look at this channel who think I'm trying to fudge things with my translation, I really did try to stick as closely to the original text as possible. No exaggerations here. <clears throat> the title, and the, the German link is below. Um, Valentine's Day presents. German men are the biggest cheapskates. They were off to a good start. Women who wish for worthwhile tokens of affection probably should not flirt with German men because when it comes to presents, they are quite stingy, at least according to the study of a British jewelry company, to see which nationalities produce the more generous lovers and what the most popular gifts are, see below. The 14th of February is Valentine's Day. Some main men maintain that this tradition is a pure consumerism ripoff and do not give anything to the woman of their heart on this day. Still others, Oh, sorry, <laughs> still others uh, manage to bring a bouquet back home or take their lady out to a candlelit dinner. And still others spend the big bucks to prove their love to their partner. A current evaluation by the global jewelry and fashion company, Botica, uh, quote, end quote, based in London, allows for insight into masculine gift-giving gift behavior. And I should you not, that is what the German, uh, that, is what, that is what was in the German gift-giving behavior on Valentine's Day from all over the world. Um, let me repeat that. A current evaluation by the global jewelry and fashion company Botica, based in London, allows for insight into masculine gift-giving behavior on Valentine's Day from all over the world. Uh, and here are the results. This yielded the following results. The happiest women this year are those with an Asian connection from China, Japan, Hong Kong, and Singapore, because their lovers spent, yes, spent, 173 pounds, that is British sterling, per online order on average. Spain and France got second and third place on the generosity list with about 180 and 143 euros per purchase. British and American men limited their budget for this year's Valentine's Day present to 180 and 107 pounds. Ooh, they're pretty cheap, I guess. And now the bad news, drum roll. The biggest cheapskates when it comes to jewelry orders for women are German men. According to Botica, this fabulous company again, that's my own insertion, uh, getting last place, according to Botica, getting last place at 59 pounds, even Italian men at 62 pounds are still ahead of them by 4 euros, even Italian men. Well, there you go, uh, slamming a nationality in addition to slamming men. I don't know what that means, even Italian men, but I don't know, maybe Italian men in the gift-giving arena are uh, famous for not being, for being quote-unquote cheapskates. The most popular jewelry gifts are earrings, according to Botica, making up a third of all gifts purchased. The second most popular presents are bracelets, making up 26% of purchases, and 21% of customers wish to charm their lover with a necklace. And here's the big, big drum, drum roll. There is something else apparent from the analysis of Valentine's Day presents. Regardless of which country male customers come from, they do not seem to have any meaningful future promises in mind, based on their tokens of affection. And here is the punchline. A total of 86% of buyers avoided jewelry that expressed a form of commitment or belonging, such as rings. Still, the 14th of February is not the day of marriage vows, but rather of lovers. Well, uh, there you have it, folks. Um, um, the translation, of course, I'll post along with uh, the original German link. Uh, 
it's pretty vile. And, um, well, it's extremely vile. You would have to be completely blind uh, to... You have to be a total idiot, blind, or all of the above, to not see the inherent problem with this. Uh, using shaming language like cheapskate, okay? And um, then lamenting, uh, establishing essentially a connection between uh, your spending as a man, jewelry, uh, worthless baubles, uh, for women on a uh, fictitious day, uh, or it's not the day itself isn't fictitious, but the premises for it are fictitious. That is your value as a man, how much money you spend on your woman on this particular day, and a proof of your tope of, of your love for her as well. And of course, uh, who, who knows, I don't, I don't know how accurate all this is, but uh, German men are the worst. Hmm. Well, I'd say more power to the German men in that case. Uh, they don't want to spend as much money on their women, good for them. Quite seriously good for them. Uh, so, uh, this article just lays it out for you. You know, you, you look at it and you just think, that's what all men do. They, they spend money and that's what their job is, is to spend money on women. To, to commitment and belonging. You, know, and you have to have a ring for that. And to, to show how much the woman is worth. Remember, she has a vagina. And that vagina is worth diamonds. No, it's worth gold, diamonds, sapphires, and every other precious jewel. Um, and for those of you who have been under the impression, as I had been in earlier years, that you know there's something about Asian women that's mysterious or different, well, there you have it, right? <laughs> Asian women are just as, if not more so, in many ways, materialist, as materialistic as Western women. Um, in terms of pure materialism, I think in some ways they even more have a greater sense of entitlement than Western women. In other ways, they don't. But the fact that it's Asian men who are doling out the most money for the sake of their vaginally endowed says a lot. And it goes to show that all over the world, no matter where you're from, as a man, in every industrialized country, <clears throat> your role as a uh, slave, uh, work providing uh, workhorse, there to please women, to spend money on them, and of course help help the jewelry companies uh, along. Let's not miss uh, miss that connection, folks, because we see that uh, some women having the largest disposable income, by dint of the fact that their husbands give them. Uh, or lovers or boyfriends or what have you, give them tons of money to spend, you know, uh, companies will cash in on that, especially jewelry companies. And so there's no, there's no doubt that the jewelry company is involved in the shaming uh, language. And they're in cahoots. They certainly are in cahoots with, uh, with the, the women with these expectations. Uh, the women might be manipulated to some extent by these companies, but at the end of the day, they're simply companies are, are cashing in, quite literally cashing in, but also metaphorically on uh, women's in, innate uh, sense of self-entitlement, which is, you know, grown up uh, and uh, developed over millions of years of evolution. But um, this, you know, this just popped up on the Yahoo, German Yahoo page today when I was surfing the net, and I thought it was noteworthy, but not in the positive sense. I thought it needed, you know, just to put it out there, just to show you how disgusting this stuff is. Um, th there really is no shame. Uh, I suspect that most women looking on this, looking at this, even with half a brain, <clears throat> probably wouldn't see anything wrong with it, or at the very least harmless. Um, and, well, I'm, I'm sure I would hear, or shall hear, novel. No, not all women are like that to reflections regarding this. Well, the fact is, most women, a goodly majority of them, are. So, and, and, and one thing I've always hated about Nobel, it not only is it deflection, it has no expletive power, it doesn't explain anything. Uh, it, it has no, it has no um, argumentative uh, force to it whatsoever. It doesn't explain anything, it doesn't describe anything. It's, it's a pure it's deflection at it's, its finest and purest. So, uh, yes, once again, uh, the German link is below. Uh, for those of you who can read German or are interested, 
in the German original, uh, and my translation is uh, in the box as well, what I read off. Um, and uh, yeah, the, just but in the, in the future I'll be doing possibly as time. At the moment, I, <laughs> it's a weekend, so I have a bunch of time. I figured I'd sink my teeth into it. Um, translations do take time. Um, <laughs> in some ways, I think this is a much more worthwhile uh, use of my translation skills and actually getting paid for it, some of the junk I have to translate. But anyway, it's neither here nor there. So, yeah, that, um, <clears throat> enjoy, well, I wouldn't say enjoy, but read the article um, and uh, have a look. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. What else do you need to know? I mean, your job as a man, man is to serve the woman, to spend money for her for the sake of jewelry companies, as an example. I'm sure we could cite clothing companies and shoe companies as well. This one ha happens to be about jewelry. Uh, and then, you know, once again, a final note that the, the, the fact that the article established this, establishes this alleged connection between the rings, particular form of jewelry, piece of jewelry, and commitment and belonging. And uh, this dovetails well with my uh, previous video on commitment, because we all know what commitment is. It is nothing more than indentured uh, slavery. Um, and uh, yeah, so we, we all know what that's about, and we all know. Uh, so, in in a in a strange sense, as, as sad as is, these men are spending any money on these women, it's a good thing that they're not spending uh, money on rings, right? Because that would that would really mean uh, bad news, wouldn't it? I mean, the bad news, as they call it, the biggest uh, cheapskates are German men, because that would mean well, they they, they do want to commit, they do wish to. Uh, chain themselves to a woman and uh, to serve her uh, in, a, in all things. So who knows? Uh, assuming I assume they're buying them gifts so they can continue to get their coveted pussy, pussy worship. That's what jewelry is all about. And, um, anyway, thanks for watching and uh, yeah, German link is uh, the so-called article is below as is my translation.